With cheering kids from the Boys and Girls Club lining Rehoboth Avenue, Markel completed the trip he started on June 18th in Astoria, Oregon. And since he started his ride with his back tire in the Pacific Ocean, he ended it by dipping his front tire in the Atlantic Ocean at Rehoboth Beach, completing the 50-day journey. So how does the 80-mile-per-day ride compare with the challenge of, say, balancing a state budget for eight years during an economic downturn? The difference in all of those other challenges is that my decisions affected a lot of other people, and so that's a big burden. It's a really important responsibility. Uh, whereas in this, it was really about me. In, in that way, it wasn't nearly the challenge of those other things, but certainly when you're, you know, have to climb 5,000 feet and you got a stiff headwind uh, and you think, oh my gosh, I have 45 more days of this, then it's difficult. Before arriving in Rehoboth, Markel made a pit stop at Dogfish Head Brewery in Milton, where he picked up a group of fellow riders for the final leg. It really motivates others. I think oftentimes people need a figure to follow or to watch or to inspire themselves, and that's exactly what I think he's doing for a lot of people. Markel was accompanied for most of the trip by more experienced riders with the group America by Bicycle. Starting in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, he was also joined by State Senator Dave Sokola, who's also an avid cyclist. When you have friends from home who are with you and who are going through the experience with you, I think it just, you know, pumps you up a little bit. Markell and his fellow riders experience lots of unique American towns that sit somewhere off the beaten path. Places like Yale, Michigan, which is the baloney capital of the world. They have a baloney queen, they have a baloney parade, a baloney festival, and they're proud of it. And uh, we, we thought it was a real charming town, and there's a whole lot of um, uh, the United States of America that, that has a, its own little charm. And you get to experience that from a bike in a way that you probably can in a car. Crossing the ride off his bucket list wasn't Markel's only inspiration. His ride also helped raise $120,000 for Delaware Charities Helping Children. I was really thrilled to partner with Motivate the First State, which is a great organization designed to get Delawareans to take good care of themselves, to do good deeds. And when they do, they earn kudos. And those kudos get turned into money, thanks to the money that we raised. And the money flows through to a number of wonderful Delaware organizations. So what's next for Markel? Short term, I mean, I've never been away from my wife for 50 days ever, um, you know, in the last 27 years. So short term, obviously, spend more time with, with her. And I, I'm looking to, you know, put together a bunch of different things that will keep me busy, keep me involved in, I think, accomplishing important things and, and help me stay connected to, to the community as well.